are today's steering wheel holders good enough to be on the interstate? Let's define first what a steering wheel holder is. A steering wheel holder is a truck driver with a low skill set. He doesn't drive particularly well, he doesn't back up particularly well, he doesn't maneuver particularly well, and he can't even hardly park the truck sometimes. And we've seen this in truck stops all over the place every day. And it's not just necessarily new drivers, it's drivers that just don't care enough about their skill set to improve it and do it well and handle it as a professional driver. They just don't care enough. They don't care who their lack of skill endangers or inconveniences. Steering wheel holders are the drivers that drive too fast in bad weather, come down the mountains too quickly, and are the guys that are parking in the fuel islands and then walking in for dinner, leaving the truck there. Are steering wheel holders good enough then? Well, according to the American Trucking Association, they are. And according to a lot of big mega carriers, they are. And even according to the FMCSA, steering wheel holders right now are good enough to be on the interstate. But if you ask a professional driver, a professional driver will tell you, no ands or buts, they are not good enough. They are insufficiently trained. It is entirely possible under today's regulations for a brand new CDL holder to be put in a truck and sent out on the highway with virtually no time practicing behind the wheel of a truck. It's all class time these days. That's all that seems to matter to the FMCSA. Who do we have to thank for this? The American Trucking Association, who lobbied and lobbied hard to get rid of any sort of minimum amount of training behind the wheel for truck drivers because it just took too much time to train them, it was too expensive to train them, they just wanted to be able to put their drivers on the road as quickly as possible so they can start earning money for their carriers. This lack of training, this insufficient training behind the wheel of a truck has created a multitude of accidents, far more than we've ever seen before, because truck drivers are just not properly trained enough. And that's why you see these accidents like the Denver crash, the guy coming down the mountain with no brakes out, didn't even recognize the uh, runaway ramp or the, or the sign for it, just sailed on by because he was insufficiently trained. That's why we saw 16 dead and 13 injured in the Humboldt crash. That driver had virtually no training. And that's why today, Every year in the wintertime on I-80, you see these multi-truck crashes. Just completely avoidable, but those guys are just all under-trained and they're just driving too fast for conditions and that's all there is to it. Now we don't have to ask the families of all these victims of truck crashes whether they feel that steering wheel holders are good enough. We already know the answer to that. But it is up to the FMCSA, a government body, to determine how much training is necessary for new drivers. And that's where the FMCSA falls flat on its face. There are no truck drivers staffing any position in the FMCSA. They're all bureaucrats and nothing will change. But I think what a good idea would be is to take Robin Hutchins, who's the head, the current head of the FMCSA right now, put her in a CDL course let her pass the CDL test with a minimum amount of time behind the wheel, give her a 13-speed truck with a 53-foot trailer, and say, okay, go deliver this a few states away. My guess is she would hardly even make it out of the parking lot. Perhaps, if she tried this, she would recognize how critical it was for truck drivers to be properly trained. She would realize that training, sufficient training, takes more than a couple of weeks. Sufficient training should happen with an experienced driver as a mentor and a trainer. Not some guy that's got three months experience from a mega carrier being the coach of this new driver. The FMCSA has got to take training more seriously. And to add insult to injury, a lot of these steering wheel holders are making the same kind of money that professional drivers are making in other fleets. And that just burns my britches. That's just wrong. These steering wheel holders are the guys causing the accidents and they're involving other trucks. And that's why truck drivers sometimes get painted with the same brush and it's not a good stroke by the brush. I suggest that all professional truck drivers out there send a letter to their congressman stressing how important it is for these drivers to have proper training and how you feel that right now it is not good enough. That's why we're having all these accidents. Stay safe. Keep the rubber side down, and I'll see you on the backhaul.